Hello, my dear darlings. Welcome to this, this video, this message. I want to talk about hypocrisy in the spiritual communities. I just saw, well, not just, like, the day before yesterday, I saw and listened to an episode of an astrology summit, which was supposed to last for 21 days. And I was interested because it was an astrology summit, okay? But this first episode showed everything about it. I said, no, it's shit. Why? These two people who were talking in this first episode, they were perfect examples of the savior syndrome and what do i mean by the savior syndrome there are people who consider themselves to be so spiritual and so wow and so guiders and the those meant to help others heal themselves and help others, la 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 la. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice to inspire someone, heal themselves, but it's not just about healing. It's also about going further than that. Okay, you healed. Let's now excel. Let's now further develop your consciousness. Let's now further develop your psychic abilities, your understanding of reality the world you live in, the world you live in, and so on, understanding your who you are, your multidimensionality, understanding the reality of this world with so many psychopaths and the governments and everyone in, in the elites who wants to kill you and stuff like that, that's also very much spiritual. But there are so many people who pose like angels in the spiritual community and they have this thing of showing themselves as superior by humility. It's kind of a logical incompatibility here, but in their mind it works. And thing is, they will never tell you they are superior. Some of them, maybe some would. But they will have the attitude of being superior by being humble, by being so humble. And why? Those people were talking about the fact that they, as astrologers, are healers. No, you're an astrologer. A real astrologer is an astrologer, period. That's it. And they are like this and they are like that. And major thing is that they said that they would see the birth chart of some people and they would tell them, you got to do this and you got to do that to heal. And those people wouldn't do the, those things. And then they would perceive themselves as failed astrologers. No, you're not a failed astrologer because an astrologer is duty, if you want to call it so, is not to fucking heal someone. If someone wants to heal themselves, they'll tell you. You don't have to tell that to them. And... They said that they noticed that people don't want to heal themselves. Most people who came to them don't want to heal themselves. So they had to find ways to not directly tell them how to heal themselves, but insinuate it, but suggest it in, in certain ways, kindly suggest it so that it doesn't sound like something you tell them to do. It, it you suggest it, you you slightly guide them towards it. No. If that person wants something, if that person wants a service from you, it wants a ser 
it, sorry. They want a service from you. It's that simple. Don't fucking offer anything to anyone without them asking. It's, it's that simple. And their whole speech was on this, like, one of those people said, every time they have a session, he says, how can I help today? And he says that this, this question is so powerful and nobody expects it. Kind of. If I don't expect it, it's because you're not in my service daily. You go to someone and you ask them, how can you help them today? When you are in their service daily. And so many other stuff that they talked about, which is just off, off, off. Hypocrites who put themselves as guiding lights and they constantly talk about healing. The only thing they talked about was healing. Nothing about astrology. Nothing really about astrology. Like, it was supposed to be an astrology summit. Are you gonna teach me how to fucking interpret a bird chart? And new techniques about that? Or something innovative? No, their innovative stuff was this approach of the healer. No, you're a healer, you're a healer. And people come to you to get healed, okay? Offer that healing to people who ask for it. Don't fucking put yourself in the in this light of the, <laughs> the savior. It doesn't work like that. And this is something that yo, it's happening. There are so many people like this in the spiritual community communities and the only thing they talk about is healing 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 over and over again and they put this thing of healing on such a pedestal that you know it's it, it's everything healing is everything and it's a constant and it's a i tell you that it is of major importance yes 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 to heal from fucked up childhoods, from traumas, from all of that stuff. But that's not all that your life is about. Our life and our purpose, if you still consider yourself awake, is to fucking realize that you gotta stand up to a stupid elite of people who exploit all other people and keep them in slavery. This is of major importance. And inform others. Don't go around and be the savior that no one needs. Be that warrior who inspires others to stand up. Be the person who changes something by understanding that, you know, your food is poisoning you, your water is poisoning you, the air you breathe is poisonous because of chemtrails in the sky and so on. But no, for them, it's just healing. It's just all about healing. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's just off to tell, to say about yourself that you are spiritual. But the only thing you know and you speak of is healing. And that's it. And other than that, nothing. So, oh, and they don't, consciously, they don't think it's so. You know, at least someone who's a hypocrite in other areas of life, maybe they kind of take responsibility for it. Someone who's a fraud in the justice system, they know they are a fraud. Obviously, they don't want people to find out about it, but they themselves, they know they are a fraud. 
That's what they want to do. But these people, those saviors in the spiritual community, they are a fraud and they don't know it. So, I, I wanted to talk about this. It's, it's something that has got to stop. It's something that has got to stop. And those people need to, oh, no. They don't need to do anything. Just let them be. <laughs> and about the spiritual communities, there are many false gurus. Some of them are like that. They are false without even knowing they are false because they limited themselves to a healing they themselves didn't do properly and that's the only thing they talk about. And then again, there are also frauds which are frauds. Like, they know it. Like, wolves in sheep's clothing. Like Sadhguru, for example. <sighs> so... Be very, very careful who you listen to and what you listen to and what you tolerate. And I strongly believe that all of those who pose either as the saviors for those people who didn't ask them for healing and those who pose as Enlighteners, as gurus, as whatever. I strongly believe that both should get exposed. Is this the term? Exposed? But better said, they should be taught what they gotta learn. <sighs>